Students are being taught all of the traditional core classes at McCullough Middle School, but kids are also encouraged to take their mats, lie down and relax in the planetarium for a class called mindfulness. Inhale. Meet Kyrie Bay, a health teacher at McCullough and a longtime advocate of Tai Chi, who was well ahead of the game when schools across the country realized the usefulness of mindfulness training. It helps you like get all the tension out and it helps you to reset your mind so you can like be in a calmer mood. It takes away all your madness and your anger and it helps you get a lot of stuff off of your chest. Like when like something happens and you can't forget about it, you might as well just do the mindful moment and it'll like you would like it'll get off of your chest. Bay begins each class with a mindful moment where students learn how to rest, chill and digest. Some students say the techniques help them to sleep concentrate better on their studies or just help them to remain calm. Middle school is a tough time. Uh, there's a lot of uh, issues they go through from social media to what goes on in their neighborhoods. Uh, they need some type of calm, some type of self-regulation tool that will help them uh, navigate out in, these, uh, out in the real world because it's tough out there for adults too. I use it when I get too angry. I just inhale five, exhale five, and say, don't do this, you're going to get in trouble. Students aren't the only ones who benefit from mindfulness training. When Bay isn't working with kids, he shares his techniques with teachers in Colonial, so they too can have better interactions with students and exercise the power of mindfulness. Hello everyone, I'm Leah Green. And I'm Felicia Sanchez. Welcome to William Penn's new TV studio, complete with an audio booth and cameras operated by students. It's a small space, but teacher Gary Phillips has big plans for his students. My goal here is to really have them focus on how to shoot, produce, edit, direct, be in front of the camera, behind the camera, special effects, animation, web design, social media strategies, podcasting, voiceovers, and more. It's kind of endless here. That's why Phillips has students doing everything they can get their hands on, from computers where they edit to doing studio work where this former veteran TV reporter works side by side with those who want to be on camera someday, after a little professional coaching about delivery and cadence. And technical programs like culinary, allied health, we're trying to communicate to the outside world. We want the residents and the, the citizens and the employers to see some of the unbelievably great things that are happening behind these walls, because I don't think a lot of people do. But when you're in here and you get a chance to see that, it's phenomenal. I got to go out and work behind the cameras and talk to people and do interviews and get stills, and that's where I learned everything that I do now. And it was just really amazing. I was like, I think I really had a passion for it. This is like what I want to do for like the rest of my life. Phillips knows many students have no idea what they want to do for the rest of their lives, particularly in the digital media industry. But thanks to him, his kids give other students in Colonial a piece of advice. Students, try something new. And if you don't like it, there's so many other opportunities at this school. Just when you find it, just stick with it and take it on with you beyond high school. After a few tries, these two ended up producing a promo that looked like this, and even tag-teamed when it came time to call it a wrap. And go Colonials! From teaching students how to focus on the mind, body, and spirit, to teaching them how to focus on a studio camera, and to produce a real TV show, it all happens right here in this district. I'm Leah Green. And I'm Felicia Sanchez. And that's it for this edition of Keeping Up with Colonial. See you next time.